Hey everybody, Melissa here. So today I'm going to show you how to create barcodes within Microsoft Excel. Now this comes in really handy if you use Excel as your inventory management system because it allows you to quickly and easily create barcodes from your item numbers or it can randomly generate those barcode numbers for you. And then you can take your handheld scanner or an app on any of your devices and have easy and quick access to your barcodes for your products. I can't wait to show you how this works, so let's go ahead and get started. So here we have some products and item numbers for Mel's Fruit Company, and we want to create barcodes for these. Well, the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our item number column is formatted correctly. Now we can run into a couple of issues with item numbers because Excel's default format is general. Now where that can cause problems, let's go down to a blank cell and let's enter this Apple's item number that begins with a zero. If you notice, it's stripped off the zero and we don't want that to happen. The other issue we can run into is if the item number is too long. If you notice, it puts the E plus, that is where it is taking it and it is reformatting it as a scientific number. And we don't want that to happen either. So the easiest way for us to make sure this doesn't happen is to format our item numbers as text. So if we select them and we go up here and do our drop down, then we can select text and that will keep it from stripping zeros or making any type of format changes. Now the next thing that we want to do is there is a certain type of font you have to have that's called basically barcode font to be able to create your barcodes. Now there are a couple places that you can get these and I will put the links down in the description, but I got mine from ID Automation. And the font that we're going to use is called Code 39 Barcode Font. And that's going to allow us to create the barcode. So we're going to scroll down to Download Now. Now make sure with your IT department that you are allowed to do this. It may stop you if there's some sort of policies in place that you can't do this. And if you can't, talk to your IT department and they may be able to do it for you if you need to create barcodes. Otherwise, we're going to do Download Now. And I already have this installed, but I'm going to walk you through how to do it. So we're going to go to our downloads file and you will see a file called ID Automation Code 39 Zip. If we double click on it, we're going to go into the next one with font on the end, double click on it. And then we're going to get the TTF, which is true type font. And that's the one that we need. So we're going to double click on it and we're going to tell it to install. I've already done it but there's no harm in me doing it again. So I'm going to install and it asked me if I want to replace it, tell it yes. And now for the font to show up, we want to close Excel and reopen it. So now that we have installed our barcode font, we can create it. And that's going to take a formula. So we're going to do equals and we're going to do quotes and we're going to open parentheses. And then we're going to close the quotes. Now, barcodes have to have a start point and a stop point to where it knows where's the first number, where is the last number of the barcode. Now what this does, this parentheses here tells us, this is where the barcode starts. Then we're gonna do an and, and we're going to select our item number. We're gonna do and again, and that is telling it that the item number that we're looking for is here. Now we're gonna do what we did here, but kind of in reverse order. We're gonna do quotes, close it, and do quotes again. So basically what this is telling it is the barcode starts with a zero and it ends with this zero. Now let's hit enter. And this is what our barcode looks like in raw form. So now if we go up to our font and it's gonna be, I think ID, yes, ID Automation HC3, and we hit enter, there is our barcode. Now if we double click, it's created all of our barcodes. So now let's say that we have an item number we don't want to use or we have a new product that's come in or been created that doesn't have an item number yet. Well, Excel can generate those item numbers for you randomly and create a barcode. Now how we're going to do that is we're going to use the function rand between. 
Now, Rand between is going to ask us for bottom and top. And basically what it's asking for here is what is the lowest number you want me to use? And what is the highest number you want me to use as I'm creating this list of random item numbers for you and creating these barcodes? So let's just say our lowest number is 100,000. We're going to separate them by a comma. And let's say our highest number or our top is 500,000. We're going to close our parentheses and we're going to hit enter. And as you can see, it's created us a random item number of 328271. So let's go back up to our font and create our barcode. And it's put it into a barcode. Now if we grab it and drag it down, Excel has now created us a list of other random barcodes. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this in the future, be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave. And don't forget to hop on out to my website, melcompton.com, for written instructions for this tutorial and so much more. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.